The second note-taking rule is to use the framework sheet as the central analysis hub. Let's illustrate this rule in action using our earlier market entry example. Specifically, after priming the framework sheet to guide our case analysis, we'll turn to the first key issue, creating an individual worksheet for it. After analyzing the issue and capturing the main findings on its worksheet, we will return to the framework sheet. At this stage, we will refine the initial hypothesis and state next analysis steps. Next, we'll switch to the second key issue, creating a dedicated worksheet for it. Again, after analyzing the issue and capturing key findings, we will return to the framework sheet. At this stage, we will refine the hypothesis further and state next analysis steps. Next, we'll turn to the third key issue and again, create its own worksheet. At this point, suppose that we need to perform some calculations. In order to do that, we'll create a dedicated math sheet. After performing the calculations, we'll reflect the results on the related issue worksheet and return to the framework sheet. Again, we will refine the hypothesis further and state next analysis steps. Finally, we'll return to the last key issue with its own worksheet. After analyzing it and capturing key findings, we will return to the framework sheet for the final time. At this point, we'll make the final recommendation and suggest next client steps. Performing case analysis in this systematic manner using the framework sheet as the central analysis hub will not only help you stay organized, but also, very importantly, present yourself as a structured thinker to the interviewer. Next, let's discuss the key habits of effective note takers. The second habit is to structure analysis with issue trees, such as the one developed in our earlier market entry example. In fact, consultants use them extensively to visually organize and communicate their thinking. The formatting of issue trees is flexible. They can be framed in boxes, as displayed now, or underlined, or grouped as plain text. Additionally, lower-level sub-issues can be organized as crisp bullet points. Whichever format you prefer, the main objective is to have clear note organization that facilitates your analysis and, crucially, signals your structured thinking to the interviewer. In summary, structuring analysis with issue trees helps to visually organize and communicate it, 